Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? Day back again. And in today's video, I received a package from Dispay. I know I mentioned that they reached out to me and wanted to send me a care package for me to do a review and some testing on some of their product. Today's video is going to be on the Dispay Siren glass file. So I'm kind of interested in using this. I've heard a lot of good things about this. Also stay tuned because I will do a separate video that will put this file up against the razor file and see which one comes out on top or are they the same as usual links to this will be down below you can pick it up over at galactic toys use code star shadow for 10 percent off anything on the site except for funko i think and without further ado let's jump down the table take a look all right all right so here we are with the packaging from display and this says display sf-15 12,000 number 12,000 siren ultimate precision file over on the side over here a siren nano polishing file is made from high quality tempered glass which incorporates nanotechnology during the process during the production process and it offers a superior filing experience and unparalleled buffing ability this filing effect is comparable to sanding f uh, paper with 12,000 grit uh, the file is designed a single grain pattern which ensures smooth and uniform filing previous files were unable to realize the mirror-like finish through buffing. The emergence of Dispay Siren Nano Polishing File will give you an, a next-generation experience of buffing experience. It is easily cleaned by washing. The product will never rust. Uh, over on the other side, caution! The Ultimate Precision File is made of tempered glass material. Please refrain from dropping this item to prevent any cracks that will render the product useless. You are recommended to store the item in a protective case after use to prevent any accidental damage please do not file any metal items or any materials not mentioned in the instruction if the filing experience feels sluggish or weak please wash the file and remove any residual plastic to restore effectiveness of this file and on the back it just uh, gives our information cracking open the box here which by the way um, I'm going to have a listing down below because I've actually fallen in love with a lot of their product. Uh, this mat right here is actually one of their mats and I actually set it up on the desk before I even did a review on it. So no review, but I have to say, if you are a filmer, this, I mean, even if you're just a hobbyist, but mostly if you're a filmer, this mat is freaking fantastic. Now it does have two colors. It has a light gray on the other side and it has a lot of patterns on here if you're doing scribing or if you're doing cutting of say masking tape. But as far as this side, you just get squares and black and it just looks like it's a, just an infinite black hole in my camera. And I really like the way things show up, but enough about that. All right, so getting that out of the way. So you get the display file in a little plastic case here. And I'm assuming that the little holes, maybe if it's wet or something like that, like your wet, uh, wet filing and you put it in here so it'll evaporate. And yes, I have already touched it. And yes, it is already dirty. Um, so I don't know how, if this is going to show up or not because it's too freaking shiny. Like maybe if I get some oil body oil or something on there it's too mirror like i can't show it the lettering is in black on here i don't know why they went with the mirror finish um if you do another version please don't do the mirror finish i guess it's okay like if you're filing and you want to make sure nobody's sneaking up behind you to steal your gun plow or whatever um but it's actually kind of distracting um but anyway and it is a fingerprint magnet like it is a major fingerprint magnet as you can see right there uh, on this side, it does say display super fine buffing siren and display down on here again with the mirror finish on here and you can feel you can feel the texture that's on here like I can feel it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this gun that I believe goes to the Garadoga and I'm just going to rough up some spots on here and we're going to test out the file just to see how it works. So I can see that that's kind of offset. That one's kind of offset. Uh, where else can we do? Let's test over on this section. All right, so you can kind of see it's roughed up right there. It's roughed up right there. So we're gonna test this out and see how it does. So let's start down here. So that actually looks like it cleaned up pretty good. Uh, let's see, let's see how it does on flat surfaces.
So it actually doesn't do too bad on that. You can kind of see that's glossy. Where, I'll be completely honest, where I find something like this comes in real handy is going to be on when you're trying to clean off nubs and you're just doing a straight build. So on something like this, you can see there's kind of nubs on there. If, I, if I've got it close enough. So I don't know if you can see or not. But this side over here is much shinier. Uh, the nub is completely gone on there. It actually looks really good. If you guys want my honest opinion, I think glass files, they are good for what they're intended for. If you're working on raw plastic like this, then I think it's going to do very well for you. It's intended for clean off your nubs, clean off little things, blemishes, things like that, and keeping a nice shiny finish. Um, this is not made for, I don't know that I would use it for resin. It's not made for all around use. That's what you have sandpapers and regular files for. But I think if you end up using this uh, as a tool of, let's say you just like building and snapping kits and you like having a good finish when you're done uh, trimming, up, trimming up your nubs and you've got them down, but you don't want to uh, mess up your whole your whole finish by sanding the whole piece. I think this is a good thing for you uh, I also think for people that are just uh, builders and maybe doing videos and stuff This is going to be a good tool for you as well because you can just quickly eliminate the nubs off of your kit and yet not have a really bad um really bad nubs sticking out in your video. Is this little guy worth it? I think if it suits a need, uh, uh, fits into a slot that works for you, then then yes, you can use it for, uh, like I said, uh, cleaning off nubs if you're just doing straight up builds, things like that, and you want a good fine finish. I think uh, sandpaper and regular files will suit you just as well. Uh, definitely stay tuned. I am going to do a comparison video of what I think of the display versus the razor file and let you know my thoughts on it. I do like using these in certain things. Uh, the one thing I have noticed this versus the razor file is that this clogs up like pretty easy. That being said, I'm wearing Levi's right now. And if you just rub them crossways against the pants it will do that but there's some that are actually pretty much stuck into the little grooves so i would probably um, take it downstairs and wash it out in uh, the kitchen sink you can use the edge of your nail to get that stuff out but just take a, a toothbrush and uh, some water because water is not going to end up hurting this and just kind of brush that stuff out of there. Other than that, I like the uh, I like the feel of it. I like the weight of it. I don't like how shiny it is. That's the only downside to it, but that's a personal preference. Some people like them really shiny. I just, this is just a super fingerprint magnet. All right, if you like this video and you want to see more, definitely stay tuned because I have some more display products to do and more videos. And definitely stay tuned for Thursdays and Fridays where we always do a live stream. I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace.